welcome back to the show. Well, we are very happy to say we have acting royalty we with do. us this morning. The very talented and very funny Miriam Margulies. Things. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what a career and a big round of applause for Miriam. Yes. in the house this morning. Yes. Yes. Hi. That's so nice when you do that. You're so nice. And we've barely scratched the surface. You've been so busy. You can scratch my surface. <laughs> oh, come on, Miriam. Gee whiz. What have you been up to? <laughs> well, I've, I've been doing quite a lot of work, yeah. I'm, I'm glad to say. And, and I, I've done a television series in England called Bucket, about a mother and daughter. Yeah. And um, I've done the marigolds, you know, going to India. So good. And, and to Florida. Yeah. I didn't like Florida and Japan, which was fabulous. Mm. But I want to tell you something. I saw the other night um, Kate Mulvaney play Richard <gasps> III. Isn't she extraordinary? She is brilliant. Yes. So everybody's got to rush to see that production. She is. Peter wife. Evans directing. I don't know who the other people were. I had eyes only for her, to be honest. She is mesmerising. She's wonderful. What an Australian mm. actor she is. She's a great star, so rush to get to see her. Back to you. Um, you'd already had such a fabulous career by the time the Harry Potter franchise came along. I mean, you're probably sick of talking about it now, but I mean, it was such a huge success. H how do you view that time now? Well, I was very lucky to, to get it. I, I think, you know, I just went and talked to the producers and like you in a, in a kind of phalanx, if that's the word. Oh. Um, <laughs> you say that on well, breakfast TV? I think so. I think it's okay. Yeah. Right. It's the first and time we've been called a phalanx. A phalanx. <laughs> um, called other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I just got the job and I was, I was thrilled. The kids were lovely, the, the three main stars. They're all very nice, you know, middle-class English children. And um, it was wonderful to be in something that was going to have such impact. Yes. I never expected that. And continues to. Yes. People stop me all over the place. Yeah. I think that's what they are after. <laughs> and um, <laughs> it, it's great fun, and I'm grateful. Well, they stop you all over the place here in Australia now because you spend most of your time living here. Not most of my time. Not yet. I hope to. Close to. Close to. Yes. No, I, li I love it. I'm very happy here. I feel very at home. And I'm grateful because people have stopped thinking of me as posh. You know, in, in, just in makeup now, they, they said I was a bit posh. Oh. And, and I want them not to think of me as posh. Because well, they're I'm used just... to a certain kind of client in there. <laughs> you know yes. I mean? and <laughs> Compared to us, yeah. you are extremely <laughs> Very posh. And you've got such a beautiful voice. I just love well, I like it. your voice, actually. Yes. I like you better now than I used to. I think, <laughs> I think you've, you've well, that's improved. That's about all we have time for. <laughs> you've improved. You yeah. honestly have. Yes. You've improved. You've mellowed. And, and you're not just interested in you, you are interested in wow. other people. <laughs> and I what? like that. It's like a fine wine, you'd it's say. It's like a dicky car. Yeah. It's taken a while, but it is a work in progress. Well, we're all work in, in exactly. progress. But that's you, true. Truly, I mean that. I, I like you now. Oh, well, I've, let's well, explore I've, when you didn't like him. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I've always adored you, so there we go. <laughs> Thank wow. You. <laughs> no. oh, Just best not... interview ever. <laughs> Let's change the subject for the sake of poor Dickie. Um, I don't know. Were you, were you watching the Oscars this week? Did you see no, the stuff up? No, I, I watched the the stuff up afterwards when what it was rerun. What did you rerun. think? I just felt sorry for everybody. Yeah. I just thought it was embarrassing. Mm. And that chap, that accountant fellow from Price Waterhouse and Arseholes, you know, he, he should be former, sacked. Former accountant. Is he is he no, off the off that, the job now? Said he won't be doing the Oscars yes. next year. Yes, well, the that A in PwC is silent. <laughs> but it, 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 it wasn't. No wonder they don't think you're posh. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't fair to uh, Faye Dunaway and and, no, and um, Warren, Warren Beatty. Yeah. Not there. Threw him under the bus. Now, they would handed the, you know, the, see, the wrong thing. And why wouldn't people go and see you at, at the Adelaide Fringe <laughs> Festival? Why wouldn't people go and see you? Because you are remarkable. Uh, I would have you on for the rest of the show if I could. <laughs> um, what, what is happening in Adelaide? Tell us about that. It's rather exciting. I'm going to be narrating with the Adelaide Symphony Orchestra. Wow. Uh, Peter and the Wolf. Ooh, so there'll be lots cool. of children coming, which is a bit scary. Yeah. Uh, but I, I will enjoy it, I, I hope, and so will the That's audience. That's fascinating. Yep. Why are children scary? Because they don't do what you tell them. 
That's good. And they can be hard and very honest markers too, can't yes. they? Yeah. So you'll know whether or not you've done a good job by the reaction. Mm. I know. Yeah. That that is rather scary. <laughs> but I, I'm looking forward to it. It's a challenge. I've not done that before. Mm. And last time I did something with an orchestra which was in in Queensland, I wasn't paid. Mm. The company went bankrupt. Oh, yeah. oh. So I hope this one I, I hate get paid happens. for. Mm. Um, but I'm doing it just for the love, actually, because I, I think it's going to oh, be fun. Oh, fantastic. You'd be the best neighbour ever, I reckon. Do you think? What do, yes. you mean, what do you mean by that? What do you mean? No, just you've got a lovely disposition, and I'm, you, if you were my neighbour, we would get on like a house on fire. As long as you didn't make a noise. Yes. I don't like noise. No. Do you make noise? Noisy neighbours. No. No, 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 I don't make much noise. I'm pretty good. No? Uh, I'm not I do. sure if that's true. <laughs> <laughs> These I, two anyway. don't live very far from each other. Oh, I see. Where, where do you live? each other's noises. I, I put your rubbish bins out and, and all that that's sort of stuff. Nice. Mm. Yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Well, I've got a little property in Bondi, which I rent out. Yes. And I've got a, a bigger one in the Southern Highlands, mm. in Robertson. Oh, beautiful. And I, and I love that. Oh, place. Good. I really love You're it. You're living the life, Miriam. I, I hope so. Do you know I'm going to be 76 in May? So I don't have that much longer, maybe. So I'll make the most of me while you've got me. Well, I better borrow some sugar off you before you cark it. Anything oh, you want, darling. <laughs> <laughs> He's is. right. <laughs> <laughs> I like you a lot. OK. <laughs> I'm not so sure, but anyway. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Hey,